Um, there isn't a real center to what I do. There's, um, I guess, in a way, there's a, a kind of a way of living, and um, and you're just sort of um, trying to focus on experiences as you go through life. And so um, these works are um, a kind of a conglomeration, a kind of a group of works which have been made over the last two years. And so it's been quite a productive period. And I suppose in a way it was kind of interesting to, um, to draw on um, in one particular show. Well, the first objects actually when you come into the show, it's a sort of fiberglass membrane. And then the membrane is coated in, uh, in bovine brain matter, so it's the, the brain matter of a calf. You know, I've been working with brain matter for a while now, and I think it's important to display the brain itself. Um, we display images, and we display the ability to construct paintings and to construct objects. And, and in a way, I wanted to display the, um, the matter that creates and enables this construction. An object which is kind of important, which is a jet engine, and that jet engine was rendered into a powder, and it's in the show. And so the jet engine is a, is a, is a dominant object. And dominant objects will twist and, and create disturbances within our relationship to the world. Um, dominant objects like um, antidepressants, um, jet engines, engines from cars, you know, these are all sort of objects which kind of enable us to have a, a different sense or reality to the world. And so we have some naked youths, we have some people who are, um, you know, who are in dress and, and become present on these objects. And I suppose in a way dominant object is youth as well. You know, there's a sense of um, ability, there's a sense of dominance perhaps, um, that can be present within the idea of youth. And so in a way that's another kind of procedure to put within all of these kind of ideas that are being sort of played out within the show. And I suppose finally I'm kind of talking around these things here and, and in a way I wanted to sort of play around with the idea of being. I'm fascinated by being and, and, and trying to represent being. I'm always fascinated by trying to redesign the human form in some way. I think that forward thinking or progression in sculpture is to always try to pr provoke the sense of your own self into the future, a projection, but also a propellant in some way, that objects can propel our sense of things. Essentially there is a, uh, at, the, at the bottom of the work is some kind of location of meaning that it's very difficult to perhaps locate in this period that we're living through um, a place, a sense of a center and a place of, of, of drawing from how we're supposed to uh, behave in the world at this point. And it's kind of important and interesting to see um, how we can make behavior part of objects and how objects can develop into our own behavior. <laughs>